David Glasgow Farragut was born in a log cabin, July the 5th, 1801, at Stony Point, Tennessee. Before his 13th birthday, he would have more combat experience at sea than most sailors would ever have in a lifetime. During the War of 1812, aboard the USS Essex, the boy Farragut found himself exposed to one of the severest tests the sea could offer, passage into the teeth of violent gales and monster waves around the tip of South America. It was early March, 1813, and it took Essex and young Farragut 21 days to round Cape Horn. A year later, off the coast of Valparaiso, Chile, Essex battled two British warships, HMS Cherub and HMS Phoebe. The British long-range guns decimated Essex. She had lots of guns, but all were shorter range cannon. She had gone into battle with 250 men. 58 were killed, 66 wounded, and 31 went missing into the sea. Farragut and his ship were captured by the British. Navy Captain Alfred Thayer Mahan wrote in his 1892 book entitled Admiral Farragut, there's no heavier strain on a person's courage than the passive endurance of a deadly attack with no power to reply, though it does build character. By the time Admiral Farragut arrived at the Battle of Mobile Bay 50 years later, his character had been further strengthened by his faith in the Almighty God. And his determination and courage was that of a lion. I really like serving aboard the Essex.